in my life, and I think in a lot of chefs' life, food and art are very much blended. I'm Meathead, and uh, I uh, have an MFA from the School of the Art Institute of Chicago from the 70s. Um, I was known as Craig Goldwyn in those days, but now everybody just knows me as Meathead. Uh, I run the world's most popular barbecue and grilling website. It's called AmazingRibs.com. It's one of the 25 most popular food websites. Um, it's a really fun place. We've taught an awful lot of people how to cook outdoors. Um, it's a really gratifying project. I'm constantly trying to create new things, create new ideas, come up with new concepts. Um, I work with the people around me, like my test kitchen chef, and it's really neat to have a collaborator. And so there's some of the same creative processes involved as with um, doing fine art or uh, other forms of uh, creative uh, activities. I've always felt that creativity was at the core of who I am, and that's how I ended up in art school. I was a uh, journalism major at the University of Florida in the 60s, and I really wanted to pursue that. I was really getting excited about it. I was getting fairly good about it. I was working with collage and montage and photography with multiple enlargers. When I saw what Sonia Landy Sheridan was doing with generative systems, working with copy machines, xerography, holography. I saw an, a, a possibility for working with those to reach my goal of storytelling. The parallel to other arts, they call it the culinary arts, with good reason. Um, there's the craft and there's the art. And um, I, I think that you really need to master your craft to be a great artist. And once you master your craft, whether it's photography, dance, music, whatever, then you can become the great artist. And I think I saw this a lot when I was a student at SAIC, and I see it a lot among young cooks and chefs. They watch TV and they want to be great artists, but they haven't mastered the craft yet. You have to learn how much heat to apply. You know, the core concepts of, uh, of understanding color, line, shape, um, texture, um, uh, composition, all that stuff um, I got at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and still applies to what I do now. I taught art at the uh, Cordon Bleu School for three years, which was a lot of fun because I got to teach chefs those basic principles of art about line, shape, texture, composition, and so on. I always gave them an assignment at the Art Institute. I always made, I, I showed them a number of paintings and I made them go to the Art Institute and come back and write about. And trying to teach them how to work with different compositions was a lot of fun. And I still hear from some of those students uh, to this day uh, who are now gone on to become uh, professional chefs.